Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. Tonight we're going to be talking about Ada the Haunted Doll. Ada is probably one of the most haunted dolls I've heard about. At least the claims regarding her are very creepy. And she's on display at the Museum of Shadows in Nebraska, which is ran by Kaylee and Nate Ratterman. This museum I just learned about recently, and it seems like an amazing place to go. They have challenges where you can spend time with the objects. What they've collected so far seems really interesting. I need to do a whole video about them, but today we're just gonna talk about Ada. Ada is a doll that was made in 1889, and her time between 1889 and when she was rediscovered in more recent years is kind of up in the air. I've read a couple different claims that she was found in an attic, she was found in a crawl space, she was found in a basement, she was found in a barn. So it kind of depends on the source there. Most reliably it seems like a barn. So this family who found this doll in their barn brought it in the house. Very shortly after, it started making the family feel uncomfortable. The uncomfortability was enough for them to be like, okay, we don't need this doll, let's throw it away. So they threw it away and it went into the dumpster, out to a landfill, and it stayed there for two years. And mind you, this landfill wasn't like just in town. It was a landfill 20 miles away. So this thing was far away from them for a very long period of time. On a random day, they happened to go in their garage and they found this doll sitting on top of a bag of fertilizer in their garage. It came back. It found its way back to them. And they knew it must have just appeared because the fertilizer that she was sitting on had been used the week before. Oh, and she had no eyes. She came back from the landfill with no eyes. Of course, this freaked them out. They decided to throw the doll away again. This time, from the time they threw it in the dumpster, went in their house and came back outside, the doll was outside of the dumpster again, just sitting on the ground next to the trash can. So after that happened, they were actively looking for a place that would take haunted objects, and they discovered the Museum of Shadows. So they got in contact, asked, please will you take this doll from us? They accepted, and now the doll resides at the Museum of Shadows. Now since being in the museum, she's had a lot of activity as well. From the person who donated Ada in the first place, they requested that they try and tie this doll down so that it wouldn't go moving around on them. Supposedly when they did tie it up, it ended up halfway across the room with the rope untied the next time they entered the room. It's been caught on surveillance doing interesting things. They've used a lot of different paranormal research equipment around it and gotten some evidence. There's claims of it having created touching sensations on people, voices could be heard, noises could be heard, just an overall presence of just it being there, just just sensing that entity is around this doll. It's so bad that supposedly the now current owners wear a hazmat suit when they go to move this doll or to change its position in the museum. So its energy is supposedly so strong that you can feel it inside the hazmat suit, but they feel some type of layer of safety being protected by this just to be able to move it throughout the museum. It's even set off the building's alarm system before. <laughs> Overall, this doll is very active, supposedly, super creepy, and doesn't want to go uh, thrown in the trash anytime soon. So if you want to visit this doll, the place would be the Museum of Shadows. I definitely want to check it out. I even joked on Facebook that I should start a GoFundMe to get me to take a trip and document me going and taking the challenge to be around Ada and the other haunted objects. And my god. If I was able to do that, it would be so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about Ada in the comments below. I love to read about it. Thank you to Jason Riddle and all of my Patreon peeps for being awesome and helping me to make content for you guys. And if you guys want to support me on Patreon as well, information's down below. You could also support me by buying a Paranormal Captivity shirt if you'd like, or you could just support me by liking this video and commenting and sharing it around because all of that stuff matters too and I really appreciate all of it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Kat, and this is Paranormal Captivity. Have a strange day. Bye!